Hi guys, I'm Ludwig and this is SQL Bootcamp Online, the two-minute SQL series where I'm addressing the most common questions about SQL Server and Azure. So, without further ado, today's question is how to save the query result to a CSV file, the comma-separated values file. Believe it or not, but this question comes up all the time pretty much everywhere. So let me just open my uh, let me just open my desktop in here real quick. I do have my London server. I'll pop up the SSMS. I do have some of the very typical uh, demo databases like AdventureWorks, AdventureWorks LT, AdventureWorks Data Warehouse and so on and so forth. So I'll just open my AdventureWorks um, database. I'll expand my tables and let's go with the human resources employee table. Now if you just say hey I want to select top 1000 rows from this table, you will get all of your results in a grid, all right? Now, you may think, all right, do I need to save it somewhere? Do I need to go to the menu? Do I need to uh, add some additional um, query uh, in uh, or query clauses and statements in order to expand and make sure that it will generate the CSV? Well, no, the answer is simpler than you think, all right? So all you need to do once you already have your query ready, once you already have it on the grid, all it takes in the SSMS is to right click it and say, hey, I want to save the results as the comma, sub, comma delimited uh, file as the CSV file. I'll just save it on the desktop saying that these are my results. Results.csv. Res oh, that wasn't the proper name. I just called it results. Results. <laughs> dot csv i'll just hit save and boom if i'll go to my desktop you will see that my results dot csv file is there i can open it and voila it doesn't get better than that so if you want to set uh, save your query results to a csv file using the ssms it doesn't get easier than that so you may ask yourself all right, but this is the SSMS version. How about saving the query results into the CSV if you don't have GUI, if you don't have SSMS, if you're just working from the command line? You want to find out? Subscribe to this channel because this is the answer that I'll be answering in the very, this is the question that I'll be answering in the very next video. This is SQL Bootcamp Online. I'm Ludwig. See you on the other side.